our word tonight. I just pray for his anointing that uh, God will use me, that he will speak through me. The word that I believe that he's put in my mind tonight. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. As you ought to turn to um, <clears throat> the 12th chapter of Romans. 12th chapter. The book of Romans. Amen. Amen. We want to look at the first and second verse. And I only want to read just a portion of. I just want to read a portion of the second verse. However, we will come back and deal with some things in the first verse. Amen. Amen. Just a portion from the second verse. And it says, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah. Just that portion. Let's hear again. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. 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 And my thought from that passage of the second verse is a new mind for a new year. So look at the person next to you and say to them, a new mind. A new mind. For a new year. For a new year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, many times we make uh, we we make you know we make all kind of resolutions and and some uh, you know what we're gonna get what we're gonna do what we're not gonna do. But I can tell you this, I can tell you this. Until you get a new mind, there will be no change. You can say it out your mouth, but it doesn't mean anything until you get a new mind. See, a, a new mind, a new mind, that means that you're going you gonna to let some things go. That means that you're going to change your thinking about some stuff. That's, that's what you, and see, 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 a, a, a new mind. So you get a new mind, that means you got a new way to think, you got a new way to act, you're taking an examine of yourself from your current situation. You know, a lot of times we think we right and we wrong. You know, you got to come before the Holy Spirit and ask God to examine you. In order for you to do that, you will have to be open up for a new mind so you have a new way to look at the situation and a new way to think about it. So if you want to have victory in 2020, you want to get a new mind. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. And this scripture has to say we renew with we 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 a renewed mind. That means that means a, a mind have been been refreshed, uh, have been revoked. You know, you see, and we get ready to embark on, you know, onto a, a a new year. You know, getting ready to go into a new decade. You know, and all you gotta do is just take a self examination of of yourself. This is personal, folks. You know, this whole year, just a, you, what you need to do is examine everything that you have dealt with this year. Yeah. Yeah. Examine your relationship because it's between you and the Lord. That's really who is between. And I'm saying this because we are getting ready to go across the threshold. And what needs to happen is we need to check ourselves because a whole lot of this junk don't need to go across the threshold. In order for that to happen, you have to get a new mind. You don't want to drag that junk in 2020. You know where you jacked up, right? You know where you right at, and you know where you're wrong at. Ain't nobody got to tell you. You know about your flaws. Everybody got issues. We know that. So it's time. It's time for us to examine ourselves. Look, look, just because, look, good, get real with yourself. Because first of all, God knows what's in you. He knows what's in your spirit, and he knows what's in your mind. That's why we need to get a renewed mind. Because God knows what's in your mind. You know what's in there. Three people know. You know, the devil know, and God certainly knows. Because he's a mystic. He knows all things. He knows everything about you. Now, if you're going to represent God, 
His word tells us, it says, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So what am I saying? He said he wants you to have his mind. How can you do God's work if you don't have his mind? So you see how you're missing the boat? So you, you want to strive to keep the mind of Christ. So then you can represent him. You can serve him. You can love him. You can walk with him. You can talk with him. You can teach for him. Once you get his mind. That's key, folks. I'm telling you, 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 you need the mind of Christ. Because I'm going to tell you, you need to change your mind about a lot of stuff. In order to be able to get a closer walk with the Lord, which the pastor was saying, that should be, should be everybody's motive to get a closer walk and a closer connection with the Lord. Yeah. And that won't happen until you get a changed mind. Yeah. That means you're willing to change your mind. You're willing to change your 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 uh, your thoughts. You're willing to change your ideals. You know, you feel ready to change your attitude. Somebody say, I, I got a new attitude. Yeah, some folks need to change a new attitude. You know, some people's attitudes all jacked up and all nasty. You can a new up. attitude. And when you get the Holy Spirit, he'll give you that. You'll become loving. You'll love everybody. You'll treat everybody nice. You won't be running folk down and talking about them. You will, what you do, you will show love to everybody. He told we should love one another. That's what John left off the scene telling us. He says, love one another. Yeah, we are representing Christ. And Christ is sinless. And Christ is nothing but love. So how are we going to represent him as we got all this other stuff in us? And all these flaws, these flaws, if these flaws is motivated by the enemy. Let's just call it like it. It comes from the devil. Yeah. It comes from the devil. And another thing, you have to know what to listen to. You got to know the difference between the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. A lot of folks don't know the difference. You know, sometimes because it sounds like it's right, that don't mean it's right. I'm gonna tell you something you don't understand. You need to take and run this thing through the Word of God. You need to be, you need to see what the Word of God says about it. That's what you need to do. And if you have some kind of issue or some kind of problem about some stuff, you need to you need to, you need to go to God in prayer and examine yourself. That's what you need to do. A lot of people don't get straight up, but they won't open up themselves to the Lord and admit that they can be wrong. Anybody can be wrong. Anybody can miss the mark. But the ideal is you want to be right and you want to represent God and you want God to use it. Some folks wonder why God will use it. Well, there's a reason why he won't because you got too much junk in your trunk. That's why. That's, that's why. That's why. Hey, the Bible said it. The Bible said if you draw not at God, then he draw not at you. That ain't the name, heaven. You get close to me, I get close to you. So you wonder why he ain't close to you. Because you ain't close to him. That's why. You need to get a new mind. But if you want to be successful in 2020, you want to get a new mind. You want to get a new mindset. You want to look at things different. You want to examine your lifestyle. God ain't going to anoint your lifestyle if it's not in line with his word. God don't work outside of his will. Now, God knows a lot of children. This stuff you can get. You might call it things a blessing. This and that and another. But I'm telling you, God do not operate outside of his will. You have to be in his will. And his will is his word. If you want to represent him, then we have to be in the word of God. Amen. We have to read the word of God. We have to seek to get the mind of God. So that was you got to change your mind about a lot of things that you're dealing with and that you that, that how you approach life and stuff that you go through. You want to make sure that it's right according to the word of God. You want to make sure that it would that it would glorify God. You know, how how would this look? You know, somebody asked, so what would Jesus do? You know, this matter, you know. What would Jesus do? You know, how would he solve this matter? You know, how does he feel about what I'm doing? Does it represent him? 
So in order for that to happen, we need to ask God to give you know, give us a new mind. Amen. So we can be successful. In other words, we can God want us to have his mind. Amen. That's also, folks. I'm saying if you don't get enough of that, you need to you need to get that. Because I'm telling you, that is that is the that is the key point. Yeah. You know why so much stuff come so much stuff happens because what the enemy does is this. The first place the enemy comes is to your mind. Right, pack your mind. It's like our press. He comes, he's sticking in your mind. He's sticking stuff in your mind, stuff that's lying in your mind. You know, but it's up to you whether you give attention to it or not. It's up to you whether you receive it or not. You see, because that's the first thing he comes. He knows this. See, the mind is the battleground. He knows that. Because if he gets in your mind, he's going to get you to think about He's going to get you to think about it. You know, you're going to give attention to it. And if you give attention to it, guess what it's going to do? It's going to bring, it's going to bring personality. It's going to bring character. It's going to shape all of that once you get in. See, the devil's slick. Once he get in. You can't get him out. <laughs> Hard to get him out. You, if you don't get him out, you're going to have problems. You're going to have problems. He is, he is slick. He's the master of deception. You ain't no master for him. Not if you're going to play on his turf. Or you fooling yourself. You are no match for him. He's the God of this age. You know, when he was in heaven, he was kicked down here. He influenced a third part of the angels. And they came with him. That's why he's the God of this age. You ain't no master for him. The only way that you are in any competition to stand against him is through Jesus Christ. It's through Christ. Anything else outside of Christ and outside of his will, you will fail him. You will fail you and you will defeat him. Now some folks think that, well, you know, the devil like this. See, if some people think, you know, long as long as you, you know, you 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 know, he, he gets as long as he he's uh uh he's on your turf, you know, as long as you give him his share, you know, so you stay out of the fence, you know, then he won't buy you that much. As long as he got you working along with him, he ain't gonna buy you that much, you know. But I tell you what you do. If you cut him out completely, you will see his ugly face. That's what you do. As long as he get his share, he ain't gonna bother you. He ain't gonna it. You know, you can come to church, you can sit beside, you can do all the other stuff, and just keep right on like everything is just fine. But you cut him loose. You cut him loose. You will see. Well, a lot of folks, that's why a lot of people don't see no more than they see about the enemy. Why? Because he, you, you, he, he's, he's on part of your turf. You know, you working with him part time, and you come here, you think you, and you, you come here, you think, you think you fooling uh, the spiritual minded people. No, you ain't fooling the spiritual minded people. Go, God shows spiritual minded folks. God shows them stuff. God shows them stuff. Why? Because it's through the Spirit. It is the Spirit of God that reveals all things. Yea, the deep things of God. Yeah. Anybody that have the Spirit of God, you ain't fooling them. Because know what happened? Next thing you know, God will show it to them. Yeah. That's what he does. That's what he do. So all I'm saying is this. We get ready to go into 2020. So there's a lot of stuff we don't need to take off the threshold. We need to examine ourselves. We need to ask. We need We need just, just, we, we need just, Get it out of our mind. We need to ask God to remove it from us. But see, you know what? The choice is, is the choice is yours. The choice is yours. Once you change your mind about it, then you done with it. Amen. Look, I'm done with that. I don't deal with that no more. That's because you made your mind up. A lot of folks haven't made their mind up. You know, you get back in the file, get back in the file, you know, make it up for a minute and change it. But once you truly make your mind up, that's powerful. That is powerful for righteousness, for righteousness. So we want to, we want to uh, prepare ourselves as we get ready to go into this new year. Amen. Now that we're right in here, you want to, you want to, you want to improve. You want to do better than you did this year. I, I, I want to, I want a closer walk with the Lord Amen. next year. Amen. I want to be closer to Him. Let me tell you, the more you know about Christ. The more you walk uh, in obedience to his word, mm -hmm. you know what? 
You that you are more victorious. You are more victorious in Christ. And guess what? God reveals more and more to you because of your relationship and your walk and your commitment to him. So it's for your benefit if you decide that you want to do that. Yeah. Now Paul talked about here in the first verse, in the first verse he talked about he, he talked about presenting your body to live in sacrifice. What is sacrifice? Not necessarily talking about as I'm a sacrifice. But what actually what it is sacrifice your body, that is being commit your life unto the Lord. That's right. That's right. Committing your life unto the Lord. In other words, making yourself available. Mm -hmm. You know, make yourself available. You know, if you ain't if you ain't never available, God can't use you. <laughs> but it's about being available. Uh -huh. Being available to serve, being available for the Lord. Lord ain't going to do nothing you ain't never been. You always got something that you got to do for yourself. Yeah. Make yourself available. Yeah. Make yourself available. Uh -huh. But mainly, that I want to drive through is that, that you, want to, you want to get a changed mind. Yeah. Yeah, man. You want to change your mind about some stuff that, that uh, let's think about it. If you don't, are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you clear about, you know, your lifestyle? And and uh, everything that you were involved with, and that you were okay with taking it into the new year, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think anybody in here is that clear, you know, because ain't nobody in here freaking sin. Amen. Ain't nobody in here don't have no S I N S. You have some sin. We have some faults. We have some faults. So we want to we want to overcome the faults. Amen. You know, we want to overcome that which don't represent the Lord. And that's what, you, that's what we want to do. That's what, and, and, uh, and Paul also talks about, he also talks about, uh, and of course we look at uh, 1 Corinthians 5, he says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creation. He's a new creation. So we always <coughs> continue process. It's a process of continually becoming new. Becoming new, amen. Becoming new is it's a process. So we, we should be continuing to work toward being more mature, being more developed, being more and more like Christ, and so we can better represent him. Yeah. That's what it's all about. In other words, down to growing in Christ, growing into the things of the Lord, that we can serve him better. Amen. Amen. And Paul also talked about... Uh, Also, he tells you, he tells you uh, the things you need to think on. Let me just, let me just read these for you. I had three scriptures wrote down. And let me just read these for you. Now, these are the things that you need to think on. Okay. And this is the Philippians 4, Philippians 4, 8. Okay. He says, Family brother, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, and whatsoever things are lovely, and whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, any strength, and if there be any praise, again, praise and worship, and glorify God, He's saying, think on these things. So those are the things you need to think on. Amen. Those are the things you need to think on. You know, the truth tells us, as a, as a man thinking his heart, so listen. See, whatever you think about, you know, you become, if you think about, and then you give attention to that, then that's what you become. Watch this. Wherever your mind goes, your spirit will follow. <laughs> Wherever your mind goes, your mind will follow then you back. Wherever it goes, your spirit follows. Amen. 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 And also, this, okay, uh, it says the devil seeks to invade your thought, your thought area. Your, 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 and so when he gets into your thought, he starts to develop a character in your thought. He plants the seed in your thought. In other words, he plants the seed in your mind, he puts something in your mind, and then you will give attention to it. And it's, it's, it's usually done by three ways, and three ways of it. He said, it's by what you see, it's by 
what you hear. Now, you want to just follow that for a minute. By what you hear. Now, some of the, some of the most damaging problems that a lot of folks got is by what you hear. <laughs> by people that you have in your ear. You, that, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Whoever is in your ear, you need to run this spirit through the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Amen. 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 I'm coming in, Doctor. Okay. So, okay. What you hear, what you saw, and if you, and if you don't judge it, it will judge you. Amen. And one other thing I need to say is, and that is this, that is this, none of us have any sins into 2020. Everybody in 2020, we got a clean slate. Go on in. Amen. spotless into 2020. Amen. So it's up to us, up to each individual, whatever we take across the threshold. Amen. 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 Amen.